If you want to know the best free online resume building websites, then you're in the right place. In this video, I'm going to show you the best free, and I mean free, online resume building websites that you can use to build your next resume for job application to ultimately get hired. Are you ready? Let's get started. My name is Cindy Makita Dodd. I am a career strategist and coach, and I know how important building a resume is for your job application and for your career as well. And that is why I wanted to make this video so that you can have an online free tools and resources to use to make a great resume for free that has a really good format and that is easy to use. So I want to share those five tools with you all in this video. Now, before I get straight into these free online resume writing tools, I want to let you know two things. And as your coach, it's important that I do so. Number one is that using an online resume builder, nine out of 10 times, your resume is going to come out in a PDF format. And now there's nothing wrong with PDFs. I personally prefer PDF resumes. The issue here lies when you want to customize or tailor your resume for a specific job. If the output from the online resume tool is in PDF, of course, it's not easily customizable because once it's in PDF, the format is set. So that's one thing to keep in mind that if you are using the online free resume writing tools um, that you can only do it once, you'll actually have to go back in to reproduce your resume if you want to tailor it for a specific job. And the second thing to keep in mind when using these online free resume writing tools or resume building tools is that most of them do not include a section for you to include your LinkedIn profile URL. And if you've been watching any of my videos, you know how important it is for an employer to see your online presence. So make sure that you find a way to include that LinkedIn profile URL onto your resume once you have used one of these tools. Now with that said, let's get straight into five free resume building websites that you can use today to build your next resume. Okay, so the first resume writing tool is resumebuilder.com. I really liked this tool. I'm also gonna tell you the pros and cons of it, but let's explore the website just a little bit. So resumebuilder.com, takes you straight to create my resume now. You can see here is a resume that I built previously, but I wanna show you kind of the capabilities of this platform. So you just click create new resume and you can very easily start to enter your personal details. For example, start entering my name. That's just the name of the resume. I can populate my name here as well. Profession, street address. Street address, I would just put um, your city and state potentially your zip code as well, email address and website. So what's nice about the website is you can actually include the LinkedIn URL here, um, but this is not always the case with some of the resume building sites. It allows you to put in personal details. You can add sections like education, a summary section, skills, employment, etc., And then it lets you download your resume directly. So what are some of the pros and cons of using resumebuilder.com? Number one, it's going to let you download your resume in PDF format. That's the only format that they allow. Um, but the pros are that it's very easy to use. As you can see, the minute that you start to input your information, this is kind of what the output looks like. It will let you just easily insert it um, into the different sections. You have direct download feature, which means it doesn't require you to sign in before downloading your resume. That's a huge plus. So you don't have to give them your information necessarily, which I really liked. Most of the resume building websites require you to sign in before. Direct download, you don't have to pay for anything. So it is absolutely free. There are different resume templates available, whether you want a simple format, you can adjust it, professional, contemporary, or chronological, and then you can click the download button to download it in PDF. Some of the cons that I noticed with resumebuilder.com, the templates are not as modern. So if I go over here, the templates are just okay. If you like the very simple professional type resumes, this could be good for you, but a con is that they don't have as many options or formats available. One section it allows you to add is hobbies and references. Now, 
this is a con because you do not need hobbies and references on your resume. And the fact that they have this here will allow you to enter it means you could potentially add this into your resume for no reason. You actually want to stay away from adding hobbies and references. And the third con of using ResumeBuilder.com is that it doesn't allow you to move sections around. So as you can see here in this template resume that I created, the education is right at the top of the resume, right? Of course, if you have you're not a recent graduate, you have work experience, you don't want your education to be at the top, you actually want it further down towards the bottom of your resume. And so resumebuilder.com doesn't allow you to actually move sections around. The sections that they give you is straight and set. So those are the cons of using resumebuilder.com, but a lot of pros as well. So this was not a bad option at all. Let's go into the second free resume building website, and that is resume.com. So resume.com allows you to download your resume in PDF and TXT format. So this is the front of their website. This is what it looks like. I'm going to click go to dashboard. I've already created one resume in the past. so It's probably going to populate here, but let's start with adding a new resume and then we can walk through. I'm creating one together. First, it asks, what job title am I looking for? What is helpful here is that it actually gives you tips while you're going along. So for example, I want to say I'm looking for a project manager type role. Okay, project manager. I'm gonna click next. It allows me to choose from a variety of templates. So it does have a good amount of options available here, which is nice. So I'm just gonna pick any one that I see. Maybe choose that one. And now it starts with the customization process. So of course you can edit the different sections here very easily, which is a plus. So it's very customizable. Um, and what's nice is that it allows me to move sections around. So if I am a recent college graduate, for example, I can move my education further up or further at the top of my resume. And if I want to move it down, I have more experience. I have the capability to do so. So that was a huge plus. I love that. Second is that if I click into, for example, the summary section, I can start typing directly into here, right? For example, I could say managed a team of 10 people for a $10 million project, for example. So I can write it directly into here, but what's also great is that they give you tips and examples. So tips, it tells you because I'm editing the summary section, it gives me some tips about how to actually create a summary. So I'm learning along the way. It's not just giving me the capability to write anything. It's educating me and giving me tips as I go along. So that was a huge, huge pro of using resume.com. Another huge pro is that it gives you an opportunity to see examples. So I can see here an example of a summary that I can use. And it gives you various different ones. I can also type in a job category. So say if I want to say maybe banking and finance, it'll give me some options and ideas on examples of what I can use in banking and finance. So I added this section. You want to customize it a little bit if you are going to use some of the examples. So make sure that as you're reading through it, it speaks to you. It's tailored to the role that you want to apply for. But what's great is that it kind of gives you a template to work off of, which I loved. So I'm going to save that. It allows you to add custom section, which is great. So if, for example, I want to add a section called accomplishments, I can add that as a section and then I can start writing and typing up my accomplishments, maybe professional or personal accomplishments. I can actually add them in there and hit save. So I love the fact that you can add custom areas within this. And it also gives you general tips on how to build a resume overall. This is one of the features that no other website has for creating a resume. So this really stood out in resume.com. So it gives you general tips and says you know, on average recruiters spend less than 10 seconds reviewing a resume. So be concise. So it's giving you some ideas and some tips on how to really build a winning resume. So I love that. So here's the template resume that I created. I am actually going to go and download it. And you can see when it starts to say download, I can either download it in PDF or TXT. So as soon as I click download, it will download it directly to my device without me having to sign in, which is awesome. The only con about using resume.com is that it will make you sign in um, in order to actually download your resume first. So 
make sure that you sign in not too big of a deal if you're using this free tool that was really the only con that i saw in using resume.com the next free online resume builder is resumebuilder.indeed.com so you can either go straight to building your free resume from there resumebuilder.indeed.com it allows you a lot of capabilities in order to build your free resume so let's have a look at some of these together as you can see here it has a variety of different templates that you can choose from we can go for a creative style a more simple style a modern or boxed you have a capability to choose um, based on your style the type of template that you want so for example if i choose this one I can also customize the style, meaning the accent colors that I want, which is awesome. And also the fonts. So I can choose between a variety of fonts that they have available when I'm creating my resume. Now let's go into the substance, which is the section. The name, personal information and professional summary are standard. So you cannot really customize um, or move those around. Rather, they are set. But it allows you to do is say, for example, I'm creating my summary. I'm going to go in here and click it. And then from there, I'm able to type in whatever it is that I want. Right. And I just hit save and it's going to save it directly to the resume. I also love the capability to add links. So this is a place where you can add your LinkedIn profile URL. The only downside or the con to this is that it's not within your contact information. And that's why I mentioned in the beginning that your LinkedIn URL, including that in your resume is super important. So find ways that you can actually include it. What's great about this resume builder by indeed is it allows you to move sections around, which is always good depending on where you want to position everything within your resume. You can add certifications and licenses, awards, groups, military experience, patents, and publications. So the templates that they have are already set with pretty much all the information that you'd want to use on a resume. So I really, really like that. Once you've added information to the resume builder and you find yourself wanting to change the template or the style, it allows you to change it easily without having to start from scratch. So you can see I changed the format but the information that I had, the contents of my resume is still there. So I love that capability with resumebuilder.indeed.com. And so to reiterate some of the pros of this free resume builder from Indeed is there's lots of modern templates to choose from and to customize your resume. That's a huge plus. You can customize the font and the accent colors of your resume to better suit your style and your personality. You can reorder the sections how you see fit uh, based on what you want to showcase where and they also have all the various sections that you'll ultimately need in your resume and none of the ones that you won't need like hobbies and references so indeed did a really good job on this resume builder the only downside i found was that you cannot include your linkedin profile url in your contact information section the closest you can put it to the top is right under the professional summary, but it's better that it's there than not included on your resume. And the last pro of using Indeed's resume builder is that it lets you directly download your resume without having to sign in. So that's a huge plus. Number four is canva.com. So canva.com lets you create a free account and you can create a resume directly by choosing one of their designs. So I'm going to go ahead and choose create a design. I'm going to pick resume. They have a wide variety of templates for you to choose from. So as you can see here on the left hand side, you can pick a template. And the moment that I pick the templates, it's automatically going to update in the center of the page. If I have a look here, I can then customize all the different sections of this template resume quite easily. So it's a pro that they have a wide variety of templates. That's always a good thing. Very easy to customize. I just need to double click on the different sections and then type in um, what I want. The sections are more easily customizable as well. Just a matter of dragging and dropping or reordering different sections as well. So nothing is really set in stone which allows you to further customize the different sections. The pros is that if you are maybe in the arts or design, these kinds of resume that have um, more graphic type of format 
is great. It really help you stand out within your field as well. There are a lot of cons, however. Um, I really love the fact that Canva gives you the free capabilities to customize. The fonts are customizable. The colors are customizable as well. One of the cons, however, is that it can come across a little bit too artsy for, um, say, a corporate or, or more professional type job. So if, for example, I'm applying to a finance role, I wouldn't necessarily use one of the more design or artsy looking resume templates. Another con of using Canva.com is that they include a picture in a lot of the resumes. And I would not suggest that in a modern resume, you do not need to include your picture. So simply delete it if you must, and that's fine. Um, or you can use one of the other resume builders um, in case you want to avoid using the picture. Another con of using Canva is that it does need a little bit more editing than um, say a resume builder or resume.com. Some of the sections are not necessarily preset, so you'll have to move things around. You'll have to adjust the size. You'll have to adjust, is a little bit too big. You will have to do a lot more customization as well to make it look good. So if you don't want to spend as much time with the design, I would go for one of the other resume builders that makes it a lot easier for you um, because it's simply plug and play. With Canva, it needs a little bit more editing. If you are not too good with editing, formatting and design, I would use one of the other resume builders. But if you enjoy this, you want to make it more customized, you want to tailor it to your personality, then Canva is a great way to go. And then last but not least, Google Docs. I mean, really, really simple, free to use, but you can create a resume through here. So I'm going to head over to their template gallery once I'm signed in to Google Docs. I am going to search for their resumes. So I'm going to have to do a little bit of scrolling, uh, but you can also click and type that in. So let's have a look at where the resumes are. Bingo, here's resumes. And I can see the different templates that they have available. So for example, if I want to choose this one, what's great about Google Docs is that you can download your resume in PDF. You can download it in Word doc, which means it's easily customizable in TXT as well. If you're more familiar with using Microsoft Word, you can also utilize that. It's not online, but you know, Google Docs is a great alternative. It's very, very easy to customize um, when you are using this feature. So I can type in my name very easily. It has the different sections as well. It is a little bit more difficult with the formatting. Um, so it's not necessarily a plug and play. You might have to play around with the formatting a little bit more with moving things around as you see fit. But it is really easy to add in your information. If you are familiar, like I said, with Google Docs or Microsoft Word, it's very easy for you to tailor, to customize, um, and to put your information into this very, very easy to use resume. Some of the cons of using Google Docs, limited templates available, of course, um, but you can customize it to change colors of certain areas if you'd like um, to make them pop and to stand out. And you can also easily adjust the font, which is a pro. And so those were my five free resume building websites that I recommend that are easy to use. You now know the pros and cons of each. And so you can pick the one that's going to be the easiest for you to use. That's going to be able to get you that resume that you want. And in summary, let's have a look at those five free resume building websites. ResumeBuilder.com, Resume.com resumebuilder.indeed.com, canva.com, and Google Docs, which is also super easy to use. And of course, because you stayed right until the end, I have a bonus tip just for you. Many websites that you come across on Google when you type in free resume building websites, a lot of them will come up claiming to be free, but you go through the entire process of creating your resume from start to end. They ask you to pay right at the end, and I know, I've done it before. They can be really, really frustrating. So some of these websites, although I'm sure they have great resume templates, great formats, um, and if you want to pay for a resume, they're probably a great option for you to use. But if you are looking for free, no obligation, absolutely free type resume websites, you probably want to stay away from these ones because they do ask you to pay at the end. Resume.io, Zeti.com, Live Career, and My Perfect Resume. And again. I'm not saying that these sites are necessarily bad. I'm sure they have great content and great tools for you to use to build a resume online, but they are not free. 
And I know you're watching this video because you want some free resume building websites. If you found this video useful, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more job seeker and career related items and tips. As usual, I host a free masterclass that I want you to sign up for. Click the link below the screen to make sure that you sign up for our free masterclass on how to land your dream job in the next 60 to 90 days guarantee. Free resume building websites are great, but if you need help crafting your resume, if you are stuck on the content of what to actually put inside your resume, you're stuck with your accomplishment statements or how to really position yourself for your next career opportunity, reach out to me and my team. I have an amazing team of resume writers that is ready to help you with your resume and your LinkedIn profile to tailor it for the roles that you want and ultimately to position you for your next best opportunity. So click the link below. Let us set up a time to chat about your resume and we'll go from there. I hope you found this video useful. Cindy Makita Dodd coming to you again with another video and we'll talk very soon. Bye for now.